Welcome to the South Carolina Modules for MTSS Support. This module will focus on data evaluation with an emphasis on policies and procedures. This module is intended to provide support as districts and schools develop or enhance data evaluation within their MTSS models. This module will take approximately 15 minutes to view. Additional time should be set aside to take specific action in this area for your district or school. While this module can be viewed as a team or independently, decisions based on this information will need to be negotiated as a team. You will need a copy of the accompanying handout for each participant. The handout includes items 34 through 39 of the SAM. There are six components of the MTSS system, leadership, communication and collaboration, building capacity, database problem solving, three-tiered instructional intervention model, and data evaluation. Today's module will focus on the data evaluation component. Let's begin this module by reminding ourselves of the profile of a South Carolina graduate. This profile is the vision that all students will graduate ready for college, careers, and citizenship. This vision will be accomplished through a multi-tiered system of support for all students. The South Carolina Department of Education, districts, and schools will work together to implement the South Carolina MTSS framework to utilize the most effective teaching and learning strategies that address the academic and social emotional needs of every child. South Carolina's mission for MTSS is that it will be used as a continuous improvement framework so all students in South Carolina graduate college and career ready. In January 2020, the South Carolina Department of Education released six MTSS modules to introduce the six core principles of MTSS. The one seen here, Data Evaluation to Promote Literacy Success, delved into the four types of assessments commonly found in an MTSS data system. It explained the purpose for each type of assessment and gave examples in the area of literacy. This module can be found on the South Carolina Department of Education website by selecting Instruction, Early Learning and Literacy, MTSS, and six components of MTSS model modules. On page 11 of the South Carolina MTSS framework, the data evaluation component is defined as seen here. The previously released module addressed understanding data sources and the purpose of assessments with a focus on literacy assessments. Today's module will focus on the procedures and protocols that you will need to have in place for administering MTSS assessments and for using the data to make educational decisions in your district or school. A future module will address the fidelity of MTSS implementation and review revision of practices to increase implementation in your district or school. Take a moment to read over the learning targets for today. In this module, we will clarify the purpose for MTSS assessments. We will also examine the steps needed in order to define and communicate clear procedures and protocols for administering assessments, using the data from those assessments, and making educational decisions based on the analysis of the data. As you work through this module to reach the learning targets, let the following questions guide your thinking. How will developing policies, procedures, and protocols enhance the effectiveness of our MTSS model? How will we ensure that our policies, procedures, and protocols are effective? Have you ever heard a stakeholder complain about too much testing? This sentiment could reveal that the purpose of the assessment is unclear. Usefulness of data will result in a greater appreciation of the assessment. As a result, growth in student achievement is more likely to occur. The previously released data evaluation module is a great resource for examining the purpose of various MTSS assessments. These assessments are also outlined on pages 20 through 23 of the South Carolina MTSS framework document. In this module, we will see that the purpose of our work should be infused in detail throughout our plan. In this module, we will examine the importance of developing clear policies, procedures, and protocols to guide MTSS implementation. It is recommended that you record these procedures and protocols in a written format. They should be amended and updated as needed based on data. 
but having the written format will ensure consistency and equity throughout the MTSS system. How is MTSS implementation going in your district or school? The self-assessment of MTSS, also called the SAM, is a tool that can be used to help you determine your needs. In the next set of slides, we will look at the structure of the SAM rubric items pertaining to data evaluation. It is recommended that the team members complete items 34 through 39 of the SAM independently and then come together to discuss their ratings. As we move to the next slide, be sure that every participant has a copy of the SAM, items 34 through 39. Notice that it is possible that you may assign a zero rating to some items. If something is not in place, be honest about it as a team. This rubric is intended to help you identify where you are and to see where you need to go. Notice the word AND in the columns for ratings 2 and 3. The ultimate goal is to see the descriptions for ratings 1, 2, and 3 present in your system. In today's module, we will focus primarily on items 34 through 36 of the SAM. Items 37 through 39 focus on monitoring and overall MTSS assessment system in terms of implementation and fidelity and resource allocation. These items will be addressed in a future module. Page 19 of the South Carolina MTSS framework states that the Optimal District South Carolina MTSS leadership team will establish clear policies and procedures for the administration of assessments, granting access to existing data sources and the use of data. Several resources related to data evaluation use the terms policies, procedures, and protocols somewhat interchangeably. Let's take a moment to compare these terms. A policy is an organization's statement of intent, and a procedure is designed to implement the policy through work, work instructions to staff. Together, policies and procedures ensure that a point of view held by the governing body of an organization, which is a policy, is translated into steps that result in an outcome compatible with that view. Protocols are specific step-by-step -step directions explaining certain procedures. Let's take a look at this in a real-life example of policies, procedures, and protocols. This will solidify our understanding of these terms. Policies state your desired outcome. In this example, the desired outcome is a clean house. Procedures list what needs to occur to make that happen. Some procedures may be easy to understand, while some procedures may need to be spelled out with clear expectations. In this example, the daily procedures of cleaning your room has an accompanying protocol to explain exactly what that should look like. Remember to include all stakeholders in the development of policies, procedures, and protocols, as well as the implementation of them. A clear plan based on a shared vision is more likely to yield the desired outcome. The South Carolina MTSS framework calls for districts and schools to establish clear policies and procedures for MTSS. It is recommended that you put policies, procedures, and protocols in writing to ensure consistency and prevent confusion. While the written format of a protocol can vary, the specific nature should be clear. This sample protocol lists the nature of the protocol, purpose, person responsible, frequency, and expectations for implementation. Your expectations should be clearly communicated when writing a protocol. One MTSS procedure that all plans will include is the administration of universal screeners. A protocol will specify cons consistent actions in an effort to collect data in a uniform fashion. Please note that this is only a sample. The content of your protocol should be developed by your team with the needs of your school and district in mind. You should be as clear as possible providing all relevant information in your protocols. Screening is about much more than obtaining a score. Consider the events before, during, and after the actual assessment, and plan for these events. 
Fidelity checks for each period of screening are an important part of systematically checking for human errors in collecting screening data. Upon the completion of this module, it is recommended that your team members work together to develop data evaluation policies, procedures, and protocols for your school or district. Begin this process by comparing individual ratings of items 34 through 39 of the SAM with your team in order to reach a consensus on your progress and goals in this area. Next, use your knowledge of policies, procedures, and protocols to develop these in terms of data evaluation for your district or school. Finally, be sure to create a plan to periodically review policies, procedures, and protocols. As you work to reach consensus, keep in mind that the SAM is a tool intended for self-reflection rather than evaluation. Be honest in your selections. This will allow you to set a realistic goal as you move forward. The next two slides list questions that can guide a reflective conversation for your team. After discussing these questions, your team should list the components of your district school MTSS that need clearly defined policies, procedures, and protocols. Reference your SAM evaluation for ideas. Once this outline has been created, begin building out the specific elements for your district or school. And here are a few more questions for consideration. Recent events with COVID-19 have taught us the importance of expecting the unexpected. It may be wise to plan alternate procedures and protocols that will apply in the event of virtual learning. The National Center on Intensive Intervention at American Institutes for Research has developed an interactive collection of frequently asked questions relating to monitoring data virtually. Here's a look at the list of frequently asked questions referred to on the last slide. Clicking on the blue plus sign after each question will reveal answers from the American Institutes for Research. This may be a helpful site as your team explores MTSS procedures and protocols in a virtual capacity. As we close this module, let's review our learning targets and essential questions. At this point, you should understand the need for policies, procedures, and protocols for data evaluation. You should be prepared to take action and develop these policies, procedures, and protocols for your school or district. You should also recognize that these policies, procedures, and protocols will require continuous improvement. A plan should be developed for periodic review. Consider how often this review should occur and develop a protocol for this process as well. As with any professional learning opportunity, information presented is intended as a springboard for further inquiry into a topic. You may find these resources helpful as you continue to lead your staff in a deeper understanding of data evaluation in MTSS. Thank you for taking the time to view this module in an effort to continuously improve MTSS for the students of South Carolina. Please reach out to Dr. Quincy Moore or Marie Gibbons with any comments or questions that you may have. We invite you to explore additional South Carolina MTSS modules as you develop, implement, and enhance MTSS in your district or school.